Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to TerraTech with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to a tech to make all of my other techs look beautiful, because this one is probably the most hideous tech I have ever built. As in today's episode, we are moving house. We are moving towards the salt flats, towards the northeast, away from the trading station. I'm finally taking your advice and moving somewhere safer, which is much easier to build on. This way, we can finally make a permanent looking base, which isn't in constant danger. And the reason why this tech looks so interesting let's say interesting is because I may have accidentally dismantled my old tech and then it all got absorbed by the black hole the undo button went away and then I realized it all happened so I quickly just threw together loads of blocks so that we can shoot we have the shield and generator technically speaking and we have some batteries it works it can kill things and I think this is a sign we should just build over here. Not too far away from the trade station if we do indeed want to use it. And it's a little bit easier to build on and a fair bit easier to protect. At least I believe these are the salt flats. They do seem fairly flat in a fairly large area, so I, I think that's a pretty good assumption. Let's put down our black hole and let's start setting up our base so that we can start processing stuff once again. As in today's episode, I do want to build a little racer using the venture items. Also, there's an enemy over there. I, it's a bit hard to see since I forgot to use a radar. Back in a second, when we have all the basic setup, and we can start building our next vehicle. Whilst keeping an eye on that fellow over there. Okay, I think that will do for now. It's nothing too fancy, but it will at least refine and sell our stuff rather quickly. So we have three separate conveyor belt systems, all attaching to refineries, which are then of course going to their own delivery cannons. So it should be able to process our stuff very, very quickly. And of course we have the black hole generator storage thing just on the side of it. Now eventually we will get to actually building items, making it all automated and all nice like that, but for now we just need a bit more money so that we can make ourselves a nice little racer. So let's get out there, let's harvest some crystals and let's kill some enemies. I'll be right back once I've done some of that. Well actually, let's just kill this guy first. He seems to have a lot of very expensive guns, but we of course have shields. And there's our base trying to help out, sadly a bit too far away to really be doing much. It'll be lovely once we have an agile vehicle that can turn a bit quicker than this. Oh, battery low because of course it gets drained by absorbing the damage and healing any damage done. You dead? You're dead. Excellent. And I just got some reputation. Wonderful. Now, you actually had some pretty nice lasers, which I will be taking for myself. I'll just drop these two drills, because honestly they're absolutely worthless, and we'll put these on here. And then I'll be right back, like I was saying, when I've got some resource, I've sold some stuff, and we can look into getting our own little racer. There we are, that's going to be quite a bit of money indeed. And we have a tiny little enemy trying to kill us. Well, that wasn't particularly fair for them, but oh well. Nice and quickly dealt with, let's make sure this is actually working. Perfect. All three of them? Yes, indeed, it does seem like I've actually done something correct the first time. That is a very, very rare moment and a very happy one at that. Now, I would like to go ahead and purchase a couple more holders. These ones, to be exact, because I just think they look better. I'll have one of you, and if I can afford it, I will have a second one as well. Wow, now that is a large enemy, being attacked by something called YOLO. Well, hello you. Let's... it actually won. Okay, YOLO just killed that behemoth. Well, that's pretty cool. All of the base guardians are down. Congratulations, the base is yours. Oh, I didn't even notice the base. Okay, I just kind of wandered here. Ooh, double ooh, what are both of you? Okay, so that's just a plow, but what are you? Are you a battery? 
I don't know. Oh, it's a fuel tank. You mean like those, I imagine. Yeah, okay, so we have the ability now to have more thrust. Although, I'm also aware that these are explosive. I may leave this here. I'm not too sure. Hello, bull. Are you harvesting? I'm sorry, sir. You're now dead. Goodbye. Hello, base. Would you like some stuff? Go and make me some money while I'm here. May as well. Have some red jelly and some other jelly. I've got all the jelly, and I'm three or off getting the next quest done for the Geo, so that, which is pretty good, of course. And of course, by Geo, I mean the faction, the corporation, which I always forget the name of. Honestly, not too good with names, although it's actually just called Geo Corp. Maybe could have remembered that, honestly. And are any of you actually ore laden? It's hard to tell sometimes. Oh, hello. Apparently I just finished a mission without even realizing it. And we get nothing of worth. Well, we have an anchor at least, so that's pretty cool. We could add an AI and make it a little defending section, but nothing really too fancy. Well, at least we've got the diamond drill as well, so maybe what we could do is put the drills here and here rather than just the one in the middle, which honestly is a bit too far back anyway. Put you there, put you here, lots of long-range weaponry, which is lovely, you can just be thrown off for a second, you may as well go there and rot, and... There we are! There's a little bit of jelly kind of bugging out there on the side. Behold my melee capabilities! And I'll bring you along as well, why not? Hello, there appears to be a rather large enemy just there in the distance. Let's see if it has anything unique. That is such a weird looking craft. Okay, it does have weapons. Are they just mortars? Yep, it just has mortar weapons. Okay then. Long range lasers! Nubbot 1000. Or Nubbot, depending. Look at those wheels. Um, whoops, I didn't really mean to grab that, but what are those wheels? Ooh. Jaws wheels. Uh, are they better or worse than what I'm currently using? I have no idea. Hello! I'm very glad I have shields right now. Either way, though, don't really want to stand too much damage. And the good thing is, there's a trading station just there, so I can sell all these blocks. You're still alive. Really? Well, you're adorable. I'll give you that much. Enemies destroyed! Mission complete! Once again, finishing missions without even realizing I'm on them. And... What do I get from the delivery crate? Okay. Okay, that's pretty nice. Haha! -ha! Now I'm a tiny tech! Excellent. Let's see what these wheels are like on my new tiny tech. Put a block there. Do we have another regular block? Thank you very much. Let's see what the Jaws wheels are even like. Other than looking very, very cool and very, very menacing. Of course, I could have just done that, which probably would have been easier. Venture Starter version 2. Oh, look at that. Well, it was very cute even if it did die fairly quickly, and we've got some more stuff, which is very nice indeed. So I just went ahead and sold pretty much everything I could from that last fight, and now we're here with apparently a question mark, so we may as well go ahead and kill these little venture guys. Oh, they're so cute. They really like getting right next to you as well, which isn't particularly good for them. Either way, that gave us some experience with the Venture Corporation. And I think this is just from the regular faction. No, it's not. Or maybe it is. Ooh, fuel. Lots of fuel. Okay, very, very nice indeed getting some more venture stuff. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. And I'll just be taking these wheels with me to put into the black hole when we get back. There we are. 
Eventually, I may even have a flyer which uses thrusters. Who would have thought? I mean, that kinda speeds us up. Kinda. And there we see the base, killing an enemy and harvesting its corpse. Absolutely wonderful, and from now on, I am going to try and bring a black hole with me when I go out fighting and doing stuff like that, because honestly, it would have made things a lot easier on myself. So for now, let's put the fuel tanks into the black hole so they can't detonate on me. We'll put the thruster there as well, the little machine gun, and of course the wheels and such we just grabbed. Uh, let's put it in an easier place for the black hole to grab, shall we? I don't even know what's going on right now. You may be asking yourself, what just happened between that last clip and this? I don't even know. All I know is, I'm scaring off this huge tech in this. And it's working. Apparently. The sun is now coming up over the horizon several minutes later, and I'm still here attacking this enemy. I feel like maybe it doesn't want to pick on me because of how small I am, and because of this honour, it will eventually be killed. Eventually. I'm also learning that these machine guns, not all that powerful, and incredibly inaccurate. Come on, fight me! Fight me! I will eventually kill you! You are going to die! Oh, I just realised, there's your um, cabin. In that case, I'm going to attack that instead. There we are. Fight smart, not harder. Come on! Oh, ooh! My lord, this thing can really move. Well, I mean, it's not too much of a surprise, considering it's just two guns, two blocks, and then wheels and a thruster. Oi! I was talking to you! I will call this robot Scrappy. Ow, 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 I'm in the way. Okay, the only- Ow! The only pain that actually done to me, or did to me, or caused me, was pain I sort of inflicted myself by simply getting in the way. I'll have that as a replacement gun, thank you very much. And now I'm going to get back to the base and build a proper Venture Robot. Ow. I am going to ram into everything with this thing. It's so hard to control. Ooh, look, that one actually has guns that work. I'm fine. Ignore me. Bet you can't keep up. Now, I don't really want to bring that to the base, so... Let's see if I can make it move away from me. Ooh, I can have lasers on the side and, like, spin around enemies. That'd be perfect. I doubt it's ever going to be able to actually hit me. And lasers would actually go in a straight line, which would make it a lot easier to aim. Ah! Okay, it can hit me if I'm being dumb. Which, sadly, is a very common thing. Daddy, help! I was just playing innocently and that bully over there tried to attack me. And there we are. See? Easy. Did I lose anything? Um, I think I've lost one gun. Which has now been replaced, thanks to the kind donation of the one we just killed. Now, let's build something proper out of the Venture stuff. Rather than this little test buggy. Hello there. There's two of you. Oh, well, this one isn't quite as broken as the ones earlier, but it seems like they're fighting each other. Oh, oh dear. Okay, let's move back. Thankfully, we are a lot faster than this guy. And, by the looks of things, we're also longer range. Okay, time to be cowardly and just shoot it from a distance. If it gets too close, we simply move backwards, because we are far faster. Behold the power of cowardice. 
probably would be smarter to actually move in a way that I can fire at the cabin, but then I would risk it actually being able to shoot me. Well, even so, we do have our lovely repair and shield bubbles, but still, it's nice if I'm not hurt. How many cabins did this thing have? Hello, there we are. Let's kill the last cab. Stop. Let me shoot you in the cab. Goodbye. Enemies destroyed. Mission complete. And what did I get from this glorious mission? Also, still no missions for Venture, which is a little bit sad. Ooh. Is that one of the good wheels? Yes, it is. Okay, that was definitely worth it. Let's go ahead and get back. So this is my first attempt at building one of these properly. It also turns out that that front um, spoiler actually gives us lift, which isn't the best thing in the world. It makes steering this very difficult, but it also looks really nice, so I think it's worth the sacrifice. Ooh, apparently one of those is on the floor, and I actually want that more than that, so you change for that. There we go, one more of the better weapons. So for now though, this is what we're going to keep. It would be nice to add a fuel canister to it so it could boost for a bit longer, but it gets the job done. It's much faster than all the other vehicles I've built so far, and it's a lot of fun to use. We just stay back and pepper the enemies at long range. However, there is one thing I still need to attach, which I completely forgot about. We do need a radar module. There we go, now we can see what we're doing. So let's go ahead and do a mission. Let's do... We've got hostiles, or we've got hostiles for the other fellow. Which one's closer? Apparently both of them are very, very far away, but thankfully I'm very, very quick. But this one is closest, so let's go with that, let's get some rep for the regular faction, and let's test out this bot a bit more. I did try to use the, the little machine guns which come with Venture, but honestly, they were just so annoyingly weak. Perhaps they're good at very close range when you have lots of them, but it just didn't seem worth it. Hello there, sir. I also wish that these lasers would only fire directly forwards. That would make aiming them and sort of moving with the enemy a little bit easier. Surprisingly, the auto-aim makes it worse. Okay, well that's you completely nullified. Let's move on to you. Behold the power of our shields! Although the battery's about to die, so perhaps... Behold the power of us retreating! Does that have a solar panel on it? Huh, neat. I'll be taking that. And you are dropping! Ooh. A scrapper. What are you? Except for weird. And you're doing something. Oh. Now that is interesting. So it scraps items and creates raw material. Huh, well that's a way of selling things. Oh dear lord, is that an invasion? No, it's just a small base. It just landed right there. That was very weird. Behold the power of the scrapper then. Let's attach it to one of these. Now, how would be the best way to attach this? Like... that? Yes, that goes out, so in, out, right? It's hard to tell, let's find out. Oh, actually I want that wheel. Not that wheel. I said not that wheel, let's grab one of those over there. Oh yeah, the black hole's gonna get in the way. Uh, black hole, you can move over here for now. Okay, so that is correct. We put stuff in there, it comes out of there. Then that can go and get refined. That is very, very cool indeed. Hello there, enemies. Yes, fight amongst yourselves. Ignore the one with lasers shooting you in the back. In no way can that possibly be a threat. Also, I now actually have a very small fuel canister, so I do last a little bit longer when we're using our thrusters, which indeed is very, very helpful. So, just need to keep staying back, occasionally picking at the enemy. There we are, and two more left. Although one of them does seem very, very small. Oh, let's move back, we're being hit by everything there. 
I've decided to swap some of the lasers for the pound cannons, so this way I do have a bit more control in terms of the types of damage we are causing. There we are, one last enemy. Lots of explosions from their fuel canisters by the looks of things, and there we are, the base is now ours, and look, thrusters, we can move nice and quickly, it's all good. So what new items do we get from this? Well, I'm hoping it'll be a new item, most likely just junk. Ooh, what are you? A wireless charger. What on earth is a wireless charger? Other than something that sounds very, very cool. Um, does it work like this? Is that gaining or losing power right now? If it's gaining, then we're draining power from this, which would be very interesting. Maybe we need two of them. Perhaps if we get two of the wireless chargers, we can charge from something else without having to take all of our batteries off, which would be very cool indeed. So let's have a quick look see then. So I assume it's in the power blocks. The wireless charger allows for the charge of batteries and transfer of energy from generators or charged batteries from one tech to another. So I assume then this also needs to attach there. Aha! That is very cool. Okay, so it only needs to go on the tech giving the power. That is really, really helpful and really awesome. Definitely going to need more than just two though, because that transfer is very, very slow. Oh, unless of course that's just the speed of one solar panel, which could be the case. Let's take them over back to our proper base and see how they function. Also, still need more fuel. One fuel canister, really not that helpful. It's better than nothing, but it's not great. Okay, let's see. You go there. Okay, yeah, it was just because it had such little power there. That is really helpful. So, first impressions of the Venture stuff. I clearly need to learn how to build the Venture stuff, but it's certainly a lot of fun. This spoiler on the front looks cool, but the amount of steering difficulties it causes probably isn't really worth it. It makes it very, very floaty and very difficult to control as soon as we get above maybe 50 miles per hour. Also, I feel like building a bit smaller may be the better option. I don't really know. Either way, though, it's been a lot of fun, and I do apologise if I sounded a little bit tired during this recording. I got a little bit ill just before the weekend, and I'm still fighting through it, so it's causing me to be a bit tired. Also, apparently causing me to have coughing fits. Either way, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel and most importantly shows that Terra Tech is a series you would like to see continued in the future. In the next episode we may try and build a new plane or we may simply continue with the venture stuff trying to build the ultimate faster vehicle exploring around and hopefully if we are very lucky getting some missions for venture and eventually unlocking one of the final factions the Hawkeye which apparently has some really cool stuff for flyers. So, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. Next time, I'll try and be a bit more awake.